Nati Huma Kureshi, Prostam Samajunlo, Manishiki Kakunda, Vastulaku, Dustulaku, Yeku, Vilu Istunar and two, was story shared Jisindi. Besha Daranatone, Samajunlo, Victuluku Gorum Istunar and two, Manishini Manishala Churat Lezani, his story Saransham. Adento Mirusurand. Hi everyone, Save the Children along with Jennifer Garner have started a campaign called Save with Stories. So basically, all you have to do is listen to the story and go to the link below and contribute and donate because we are trying to help children who are affected by COVID-19. And I'm going to read my favorite story to all you little ones, which is called Mullah Nasuddin Feeds His Coat. Mullah Nasuddin had been working in the fields all day long. He was tired and sweaty and his clothes and shoes were covered with mud and stains. Because he'd been fasting all day for Ramzan, he was also quite hungry. It was almost sundown and Nasuddin knew that he would soon be able to eat. Now, the wealthiest man in town had invited everyone to come and break their fast in his home that evening with a huge feast. Nasuddin knew that he would be late if he went home to change his clothes before heading into town. So he decided it was better to arrive in dirty clothes than to be late. Oh, what a party it was going to be. What a feast. As he walked to the wealthy man's home, Nasuddin imagined the delicious foods he would soon be eating. Dates, lentils and chickpeas, olives and bread, hummus, falafel, kebabs of chicken and mutton and best of all, the desserts. Halwa, date rolls, figs and baklava. So when Nasuddin arrived, the wealthy man opened the door and looked Nasuddin up and down scornfully from his worn, ragged out clothes to his muddy shoes. Without a word of welcome, he gestured for Nasuddin to come in and walked abruptly away. Hmm, I wonder what the wealthy man was thinking. Let's see what happens next. Nasuddin joined the many people who were all dressed in their finest clothing. The tables were laden with all sorts of delicious food. Dates, lentils and chickpeas, olives and bread, hummus, falafel, kebabs of chicken and mutton and best of all the desserts. The halwa, the date rolls, the figs and the baklava. Now despite his efforts to hurry, the seats were all taken and nobody tried to move or make space for Nasruddin. In fact, nobody offered him food. He had to reach over and around people to get any food for his plate. Nobody spoke to him. It was as if he wasn't even there. I wonder how Nasuddin was feeling about this. Hmm. Well, the other guests ignored him so completely that Nasuddin could not enjoy the food on his plate, no matter how finely prepared and how tasty it was. In fact, after only a few bites, Nasuddin was so uncomfortable that he decided to leave. He went home and changed his clothes. In fact, he put on his finest clothing, including a beautiful coat. Hmm. Nasuddin returned to the feast and this time the host welcomed him with a huge smile. Come in, come in, greeted the host. As Nasuddin entered, people waved and called out to him from all corners of the room and they invited him to sit near them and offered him food. I wonder what the host and the guests were thinking now. And I wonder what Nasuddin must be feeling. Nasuddin sat down quietly. Picking up a plump fig, he carefully placed it onto a coat pocket saying, Eat, coat, eat. Then he took a handful of nuts and put them in the other pocket saying, Eat, coat, eat. Now he began to feed his coat in earnest, grabbing all sorts of food and saying, Eat, coat, eat. So he fed the coat lentils and chickpeas and olives and bread and hummus, falafel, kebabs, chicken and mutton and best of all the desserts, the halwa, date rolls, figs and the baklava. <gasps> Nasuddin became silent as they watched the strange behavior. Soon everyone in the room was staring at Nasuddin wondering what he was doing. The host hurried over. Nasuddin, what are you doing? Why are you feeding your coat in this manner, man? Well, Nasuddin replied, When I first came to this feast in my old farming clothes, I was not welcome. No one would speak to me. But when I changed into this beautiful coat, suddenly I was greeted warmly. So I realized it was not me that was welcome at this party, but my clothing. 
and so I'm feeding my coat. Well, I really like the story. I want to know what you guys think of the story. So please uh, feel free to share and you can leave all your comments in the link below. Lots of love. All of you guys stay safe. Stay home.